Good day students, welcome to math.surf.com. In this clip we're going to be going over section 2.7 of our Algebra 1 virtual text focusing on how to solve literal equations. Before we get started with um, some examples, we're going to take a look at the inverse operations of some operations that we are going to be using in this presentation. Okay, so let's take a look at them. We're looking at the following inverse operations. Now when you think about inverse, what you're thinking of is to accomplish the opposite or the reverse effect. Okay? Alright, so the first one is addition. The inverse of addition plus is subtraction. So what does this mean? This means that if you want to undo the addition operation, guess what? You use subtraction since your inverse is. Okay? Number two, since the inverse of addition is subtraction, it follows that the inverse of subtraction minus is addition. Alright, so if you're solving a literal equation for a specified variable and the operation that attaches the variable to another is subtraction and you want to undo that subtraction operation, you use addition. Okay, moving on, the inverse of multiplication times is what? Is division. So if you want to undo the multiplication operation, you simply use division. Okay? And that follows that the inverse of division is multiplication. Okay. So, uh, with these opera inverse operations in mind, let's take a look at some examples on solving literal equations. Alright, so the instructions are for us to solve the given equations for the specified variable. Okay, all right, number one, let's say we have the equation k plus x equals w plus v, and we have to solve for x. All right, let's go ahead and do it. So we're solving for x in this equation, k plus x equals w plus v. What does it mean to solve for x? We want to get x by itself. However, we have another variable attached to x by the addition operation. So how do we undo, undo that? So we have <coughs> an addition operation right here. It's kind of invisible. Um, so if you don't have a sign in front of a leading term or variable, the default sign is plus. Okay. So um, we want to undo the addition of this k term to x. So the question is, what is the inverse of addition? The inverse of addition is subtraction, as indicated earlier. So what we're going to do is we're going to subtract k from both sides of the equation. Okay? All right, so when we carry out that subtraction, what happens? On the left side of the equation, k plus k and minus k add up to zero. Okay, so they are gone, and you're left with x. x is equal to, on the right side of the equation, you have negative k plus w plus v. Since there are no identical variables, no like terms, um, this is our final answer. All right, let's take a look at uh, another example, question two. What if we were to solve the equation a minus c equals 
r plus d for the variable a. Okay, let's do that. So we have a minus c equals r plus d. We want to solve for a, so we want to get a by itself. That's what it means to solve for a variable. But in this case, we have another variable attached to a, which is minus c. So what is the inverse of minus? The inverse of minus is plus. So to undo minus c, we are going to add c to both sides of the equation. Okay, so add c to both sides of the equation. If you do that, what does that accomplish? We're going to have a <coughs> minus c and plus c add up to zero. So you're left with a equals uh, c plus r plus d. Okay, or you can say r plus d plus c. It doesn't matter since addition commutes. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is the answer to question number two. All right, let's take a look at another example. Now, let's say <coughs> we have um, the equation Ka equals W plus B, and we ask to solve for A. Okay, all right, let's go ahead and do that. So Ka equals W plus B. To get a by itself, we have to consider the operation that connects this other variable on the same side with a with a, okay? So k is, uh, the relationship or the operation between k and a is multiplicative, all right? So the question is, how do you undo multiplication? If you want to undo multiplication, you use its inverse operation, which is division. So what we're going to do is divide both sides of the equation by k. All right. On the left side, k divides out. So k goes here once and k goes here once. So it divides itself out. That leaves us with a, which is our goal to get a isolated. And on the right side, we have w plus v over k. And that's the answer to question number three. All right, let's take a look at another example number four. Let's say we have the equation x over k is equal to w over v, and we want to solve for x. All right, let's go ahead and do that. So we have <coughs> x over k equals w over v. Now to solve for x, we will need to look at the other variable on the same side as x, which is k. We have x divided by k. Now what's the inverse operation that can undo division? Multiplication, right? So if you have dividing by k, if you want to undo division by k, what you do is you multiply by k. But since this is an equation, you have to do exactly the same thing to both sides of the equation. Okay. All right, so what does that yield? On the left side, the k's divide out, so you have x equals. On the right side, imagine as though there is a 1 here, okay? k divided by 1. Um, you can do that to any number. If you divide any variable or number by 1, it doesn't change it, okay? Now, I multiply top by top, which is w, k, and multiply bottom by bottom, v times 1 is v. So this, ladies and gentlemen, is the answer to question number four. All right, let's take a look at uh, one more example, um, problem five. Let's say we have the equation u equals negative b plus k over a, and we we'll want to solve this equation for a. Okay. All right, so let's do it. So we have u equals negative b plus k over a. Now, there are two terms that are on the same side as a. We have negative b and we have k. Okay, so we're going to get rid of them one at a time. Started with the most distant operation, negative b, all the way to the closest operation to a, which is k. 
So let's deal with B first. Minus B, what is the inverse of subtraction? The inverse of subtraction is addition. So to undo minus B, we are going to have to add B to both sides of the equation. If we add B to both sides of the equation, that yields um, U plus B on the left side and on the right side minus B and B are inverses so they add up to 0 equals K over A. Okay? Alright. Now to get um, A by itself there are two methods that we can use in this particular equation. The complication arises because the variable we are solving for is in the denominator. Okay, so you can either use cross multiplication method or you can use the reciprocation or flipping method. Let's go over both methods, okay? So method one is cross multiplication. Cross multiplication. Alright, so we have the equation u plus b equals k over a. So to cross multiply, we're going to multiply the denominator on the left with the numerator on the right and the denominator on the right with the numerator on the left. Since there's no denominator on the left side, the default denominator is just 1. Okay. Alright, so we're going to cross multiply. When we cross multiply, we're going to have, um, now don't distribute here, okay? We're going to have um, a times u plus b equals k. Now why did I um, indicate not to distribute? You do not want to distribute because you need to get a isolated. Okay? So you notice that a is being multiplied by this quantity u plus b. We need this quantity gone. So to undo the multiplication of a by u plus b, we're going to use the inverse of multiplication which is what? Division. So we're going to divide both sides by u plus b and our final answer is going to be a equals k over u plus b. Okay. Alright, now let's try another method. Um, this is the multiplication, the cross multiplication method. Now let's use the uh, reciprocation or flipping method. Okay, and then you can pick whichever method you like to solve problems of this nature. Method two is to flip, or you can call it reciprocate. Reciprocate. All right, so remember this complication is occurring because the variable that we are solving for is in the denominator position. Okay. All right, so we have u plus b equals k over a. Now we're going to reciprocate or flip both sides of the equation. The denominator goes on the top, the numerator goes on the bottom. Now on the left side there is no denominator so we're going to just put 1 like we did with the other method as our default denominator. Now we're going to flip both sides of the equation to indicate that I'm using an operation. To flip is to raise to the negative first power. Okay. So keep that in mind. So we're going to flip both sides. When we flip both sides of the equation, we're going to have on the left side 1 over u plus b and on the right side equals a over k. Notice how both sides flipped. Now the last step to get a by itself, you just multiply. Now you notice you're dividing by k, right? So the inverse of division is to multiply, so multiply both sides by k. And then we are going to have on the left side, just imagine that this is k over 1, okay? k times 1 is k, so we have k over u plus b, and that is equal to a, okay? So uh, let's rewrite it. a is equal to k over u plus b, and that's exactly what we had before. Okay, so whichever method you like, both of them will uh, give you the same result. 
All right, so how well did you understand the contents of this presentation? To demonstrate mastery, we'd like you to try out the following problems. So let's try these. Instructions are the same. You're to solve, uh, solve the given equations. for the specified va variable. Okay. Um, all right, so let's say we have number one, G equals A plus C minus B. Now what you do is you basically um, copy down this problem, solve this for A. So and then pause the video, okay? And then when you when you're done solving, you um, reinitiate playback, and you will see what the answers are. So number two, k plus x equals w plus b. You want to solve this for x. Number three, what if you have m over m a is equal to n over p? And you want to solve this for a. And then number four, what if you have z equals m x over y, and you want to solve this for x. And then number five, what if you have z equals b plus m over a, and you want to solve for a. All right, so go ahead and pause the video and solve these problems. When you're done, click on play, and you'll see what the answers are. Alright, so hopefully you had a chance to try out the problems. Let's take a look at what the answers are. For question one, the answer is A is G minus C plus B. For number two, X is negative K plus W plus B. For number three, A is equal to N over M P. For number four, X is equal to Z Y over M. And for number five, A is equal to M over Z minus B. All right, so there goes the answers. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. I really appreciate it. If you found the contents of this presentation helpful in your studies of literal equations, do give us a thumbs up. Your positive feedback is very valuable to us. If you have any questions or comments about uh, the problems we went over or the try these problems, just post it in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for updates to the remainder of this uh, virtual text. More videos, worksheets, games, tools, and support resources can be found at mattgutserve.com. Do check it out. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.